Hundreds of prisoners have been pardoned by the president over the years under the prerogative of mercy as empowered by the constitution. This is upon the advice of the Committee on Prerogative Mercy. The Attorney General leads this committee, which has six members. These people cannot be members of Parliament, the Uganda Law Society, or a District Council. According to Uganda Prison Services, every year they submit a list of prisoners who fit in general categories of pardon. These include prisoners on death row who have no more appeals, capital offenders who have six months to go home, those who petition the president directly, minor offenders who have finished three quarters of their sentence, suckling mothers who are minor offenders who have completed 50% of their sentence, elderly persons who are minor offenders and have done 50% of their sentence. To be considered elderly, he should be 65 years and above. The terminally sick who are minor offenders and have finished 50% of their sentences. All these categories, there must be an attachment of remorsefulness and discipline. We don't refuse to receive any case from treason all the way to pickpocketing. We receive all of them. What we decide as a committee, that is up to us. We don't tell prisoners that don't send these. However, the pardon is exclusively for convicted prisoners and does not affect remand prisoners because those belong to court. The names of prisoners in those categories are then submitted to the Committee of Prerogative of Mercy for consideration. The committee looks at prisoners' cases and advises the president. It can come from pardon, it can be respite, it can do a reduction of the penalty. There's so many things that can be done in respect to the sentence that has been uh, laid down. And if you find that the offense is actually very grave and too personal, we try to reach out to the to the to the victims of that crime we even send somewhere we say no where a, a, a request has been brought for prerogative of mercy and we said no you shouldn't grant this person prerogative of mercy is they are not remorseful the way the because the person uh, depicts facts in their application decisions are usually made by consensus the facts of the case the decision of the court we study all that and then we come up with a, a decision on where to go so once that is done, we then come to, to studying now the judgment. There were questions on the pardon of many of those this time as they had committed the offense of defilement. In this particular cycle, there were many cases of defilement which we needed to, to look at separately. For example, uh, in some of these cases, the person who was convicted of defilement was 16, 17 at the time of committing the offense but he was having a romantic relationship with a girl who is probably 15 or 17. Some of them you find that <clears throat> the boy in that romantic relationship impregnated a girl who, 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 who was about the same age. It was just really romantic. By the letter of the law it's actually defiling. But this person has served, they are remorseful, they are, so, so, so that, those are the kind of cases that we we consider. The Uganda Prison Service will submit the list of prisoners to be considered for pardon this year in April. Nobat Atkunda, in TV News.